he's more than happy to use the defensive zone created by someone here to capitalize. A glancing blow on Spark is going to take him low enough. Chorum to finish the job. Immortality field thrown away. Lane that also is going to get run down. Make it two for Chorum. This guy absolutely bloodthirsty today. The setup's been very good from the Florida DPS. Yeah, and they realize, Florida, that Sparker is just so far behind enemy lines, and they just jump on him right away. Uh, as soon as they realize he's there, Merit and then some speed from Chorog get right up in his grill. Uh, take out the Hanzo, and although you get a kill on the other side by the point there for London, uh, still just a large source of your damage there with the Hanzo out on your side, and Merit really just firing with no, uh, no worry of being taken out. We can play from such a safe position, London haven't had the ability to encroach. Sparkle, the only one getting remotely close, and instead he just got caught out and run down by the Lucio. Might be an issue here again. The rest of his team looking now to try and peel back for him somewhat. Chorong will be repelled on this occasion. Now back towards the point we go, but the Mayhem are ticking up that catch-up percentage, 53. And we're headed upwards. Lennon has it in. Matrix is going to let the one go pretty much straight away. May walk through in front of Rupal, maybe to try and cut off the healing for a time. This is a defensive air matrix, essentially. And here comes the mayhem. Blizzard thrown out and Sparker is down. Yeah, it's a Blizzard with a Dragon Strike on through it. And the Dragon doesn't really result in anything, but still just splits off some of the members of the London Spitfires. This has really become all Florida mayhem is uh, they're going to... Oh, this is just... Yep. Oh, they're staggering him so badly. That's yeah, brutal. Man, makes me think of uh, FRD on the uh, old Diva days, you know what I mean? Absolutely it's nasty like, stuff. Yeah, boom. So, somewhere FRD is still being staggered out on Diva with you know, Hannah Mura, <laughs> yeah. a Titan's jersey. <laughs> so, so well, this one's done. Uh, I mean, they, they push up, they, they get right up. Right, they know that Hardy's not going to be in the fight, right? He spawns in a little bit late. They push right up with the Annihilation sound barrier, and that is a dominant performance there in round number two from Florida. Florida want to go back to their route. Only Sky Reaper by the looks of things, and there's a Cthulhu rush in play already for the Spitfire. Well, it doesn't help keep Sky Reaper alive. Even his own immortality field employed to keep him in the fight. Still not going to be an option. Some of respects the head to go in a big way. He knows he can also peel back and provide some value to the rest of his team here. Not quite trusting his bubble by the looks of things, and the cart has been moving the whole time. Who can test here for the Spitfire? Sparker <laughs> turned into Chutney. And that will be the mayhem with another checkpoint. Yes, uh, Landon will get on here, try and touch towards the end, but uh, the damage has already been done there. As uh, soon as someone gets towards the high ground, I feel like a few times we've seen he's been able to just get right on top of Sparker with uh, no way for him to fight back on the Hanzo. So four minutes plus to be able to make this run down here for the Florida Mayhem in a fantastic spot, you know, with some of these key ultimates that really just combo you know a nano with the winston and emp like you're you're in these scenario where you just have such uh large game winning combos multiple ones here for the florida mayhem and for the spitfire it's about disrupting that right disrupting some component of these combos like we saw with that nano getting kind of wasted previously they need to keep being able to do that take the mayhem by surprise and maybe even eliminate some of these key targets right Lethal's not had much success, I feel like, delving into these back lines early. Uh, I can't say the same for Checkmate, no. Absolutely slap Sky Reaper. Uh, the Spitfire uh, rolling over here. Hardy has to go back to spawn. Hack there. Was able to block and keep himself alive. Fortunately for them, only one player on the card, so they will have another chance once they meekly emerge from their spawn. Yeah, they're going to come out with double support ults here. They're going to get them in just a second. Sparker's going to have a dragon, but how do they... They're going to have to come out into the open to play against CMP, and that's going to be a big one. Oh, and they're going to get Sky Ripper down right away, so he's not going to have that AM Matrix. Spark of the bright spot here uh, for the Spitfire. Constantly able to find sometimes random kills, or at least that's our assessment of them, or at least trades there. He and Hardy combining are able to force the Mayhem back after Florida get the, the start they want, right? They get that EMP set up. They <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Not able to live up to his name there, as Chorong is on the right side of the scoreboard, being the left. So, so what do you think about this Genji swap here towards the end? So Checkmate now going over to the Genji. I think uh, potentially you can have someone use a Primal here, yeah. see if that can force anything out. Uh, and then you're set up with like a Nano Blade towards the end. Uh, they might have time to do with a Primal either. timing. Yeah, what yeah. a hack, man! Florida doing such a good job of collapsing on, on these Sombra hacks. There are plenty of teams, plenty of situations where like strong backlines make that very hard to do. 
Oh, that is from someone. He'll just appear, yeah, randomly, with no one expecting it. Knocks him out of the immortality field. Oh, my goodness. He paints the walls red. And both backline is down for the London Spitfire. Lethal was able to find someone eventually now, but Hardy really has to try and stick on the point. Checkmate force back. Tsune Rush in play. How do you utilize this? Especially when the enemy Ramatra is healed up for the most part. Checkmate unsure about the answer to that as well, I dare say. Ionade only on lethal. Force the annihilation maybe there? Because yeah, you were probably were not in a position to win that with your own Katsune Rush there as Hottie does have this from Matra mm. Ultimate. Just Nemesis one just takes out Checkmate right underneath him. So maybe Checkmate thought he was safe. Nobody was going to turn the corner and try and kill him. But you know the Nano Blade for this next fight. But if that doesn't work out, it's, it's in a really rough spot in Florida now. Like it's never guaranteed against a, a Kiriko Baptiste composition. Like there's, just, no. there's no guarantee that you can actually make this work. And Hardy as well, uh, with that annihilation, can be a real problem here for Checkmate. So I wouldn't be banking on this as your golden goose, Matt. I, I so we've up. seen Checkmate do some really nice stuff before. There's going to be one. Okay. Going to get a second. Uh, that okay. looks like it could be good enough. As, uh, Hardy with this annihilation. Landon's got the Kasuni Rush down. So maybe you can keep Hardy up alive long enough, right? Uh, to, to, to maybe get some players out of the spawn. Oh, Hardy, uh, they finally find there. that Bionade. Look, yeah. I, if, if not for that Bionade, Hardy probably sticks around a lot longer than the Mayhem would have liked. Eventually, though, they're able to grind out the end of the map. And frankly, the Nanoblade was the answer for them, right? Checkmate moving over towards... Yeah, we... I mean, yeah, it's a long map, and we don't normally expect teams to finish the whole thing, but uh, for the Florida Mayhem, and especially in how they've looked in this series so far, this is, well, less than we expected being forced, someone being forced off the Ramatra, just as we were making these comparisons between tanks that looked pretty unfavorable for Reinhardt, Hardy showing us exactly why he's particularly powerful on that little hair or that 90 degree bend, I suppose. But I think a lot of it, we talked about his mobility, right? Lacking up against Ramatra. Uh, it looks like the uh, the, tele the teleporter from Symmetra kind of fixing that to some degree. Yeah, as that sim TP was paying off oh, very well there for London, is uh, not going to have that on defense here for the Florida Mayhem, uh, but they have that Ramacha, a little bit more mobility overall with uh, Merit on the Sojourn. So uh, we'll see how things play out here for Florida Mayhem, but London with their best chance to win a map. Five, four, All right. Three, two, now London have a pretty clear cut win condition. Won't be staying on the Symmetra offensively here. Instead, Spark are giving him ways to create openings in these fights before they truly begin. Florida not with such a close call, but have someone relatively far forward here. He has to defend himself now as they give some ground, use the May Wall to beat a quick retreat. Get a little bit more burst damage here uh, with that Hanzo in play here for uh, London. So maybe Sparker can kind of find a little bit of an angle here. Get a, get a one-shot kill. He's done a few of those there, just kind of firing those logs down down these alleyways here on the heroes like, uh, you know, Lucio and Kiriko, but he hasn't found, found anything just yet. Maywall here uh, down the main choke for London is uh, they're pushing up. Yeah, I mean, uh, Florida pretty uncomfortable by this. I think they really just gave ground until they buckled and broke. Very clean stuff from the London Spitfire now. You see they're looking much more animated here, realizing that, hang on, we do have some compositions. This comp, uh, again, which is what we saw in map one that we call the classic London compositions, really working for them here uh, on Shambhali Monastery. We're almost at the end of the map already, ladies and gentlemen. Don't don't forget, the Mayhem didn't even get that first checkpoint. So there's one more fight left to go. Landon has an air matrix here to go with. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be, you know, London just getting uh, the touch over the line. So the Spitfire there. Uh, end up taking this map where uh, you, know, you, you thought that Florida potentially could end up to be able to make this composition work. It's looked excellent so far, albeit against an opposition who cannot mirror it to save their lives. Get pushing. Or I'll take your legs yeah, we're, but but I still would love to see this from Florida uh, more throughout the season. And, you know, I think uh, Jason talking about on the desk, like some of these teams just kind of resorted to rush. You can't play that dive as fast and as good as Atlanta and Houston, where I think if there's another team in the mix that could maybe do that, you're looking at like Boston, you're looking at this oh. Florida's team that can pull it up. That's a tech visor that uh, oh. everybody just runs for the hills there. Oh. You, you have such a large advantage in terms of like the bot. Like you could just run completely away from it and give it up. Oh, sorry. Uh, got that still out. have time to get back. Oh, yeah. they're committing to this. have an EMP here too. Oh, yeah. Admiral's dead. That is 
Oh god, they're so messed up. Oh, London, London. They are in the drink right now. There is a minute left in the round. A significant advantage oh, for the Florida go. Mayhem. <laughs> there we go. Right. Nice Turn that frown upside down, Florida fan. Like, oh, he's in such a tough spot. He's stuck in between the bot and them, like just kind of in no man's land. As they kill him now, look, they, they're not, they don't even care about pushing it further up. Just well, go no back point. to that top high ground. Just why get a high ground push, again. Why would you push into a disadvantageous part of the map when you have Winston yeah. who wants to drop off the high ground for free like this? This is no, yeah, no get reason. Get to that high ground and just play that choke again with an London, EMP. London just need to give Florida a reason uh, to respect them. I don't think that's going to happen, though. No. Not with Merritt, with another EMP, who for him it's been really rudimentary. He hasn't had to do anything particularly special on this Sombra. The setup has been excellent, the coordination has been next level, and Backbone is... Oh, well, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Linden actually looked like they were going to kind of like wrap through wow, where that closer spawn would be and go for that high ground. And they just pushed the bot and moved closer and they just assassinated Backbone. But uh, now kind of back at square one here, it's going to be Sound Barrier there for London in a Rampage. Yeah, Chorong gets the Sound Barrier out. I'm on a Rupal, as well as Chorong himself benefiting from that. Checkmate, stowing Discord in the back line. And there's a Pulse Bomb. And the Spitfire keep grouping up like this. There's no escape from that one. Merrick comes back off respawn and, yeah, hits a big EMP. Nothing Hardy could do or say to change the reality. And the Spitfire and their fan base had better face the facts. They got a lot of work to do if they want to put a scratch on a team like the Florida Mayhem. It's a 3-1 game. Shabali Monastery, you can potentially write...